there. Today I'm at the new location and this time I am as south as you can get in Sweden. I have just parked my car after driving for two and a half hour from my home to this place. And I have approximately 20 minutes hike up to the new location. But this video today I am going to go through why I bought the Nikon Z6 Mark II even though I'm actually a landscape photographer and I see myself as a landscape photographer. But let's head to the location now. Now I'm halfway up to the location and the main reason why I'm here because I want to shoot this place particularly. Been here once before but I like to go back and see if I can evolve my craft and find new composition and improve myself. And I hope the weather will be a bit better because now it's a really harsh light, the sun is mm, too bright and that's hard shooting, also filming. You get that nasty shadows in the face. But the first reason I bought my Nikon Z6 Mark II is that I see myself as a landscape photographer for now. But I just love to take photos and photograph. And I'm trying to evolve and I want to evolve. So I'm doing some car photography. I'm, I want to do some downhill photography. You can actually watch a video about it right here. And I want to do some more lifestyle outdoor photography. And that's the first reason I bought the Nikon Z6. Now you might wonder why, but let's explore and let me explain. See the, the location I'm at? Alestianar on Swedish. It's some kind of stone hedge that's uh, supposed to look and simulate a boat shipping in the water. I think it translated like that. It's a very cool place and the sun will hit the, these stones perfect when uh, the sun is setting. So I will try to snap some photos and scout around and see with how I should target this area when the sun is setting. And I will hike further away and see if I can find some great composition because this is a pretty cool shoreline also. But let's scout. <laughs> Back to the reason why I bought the Nikon Z6 Mark II instead of the Z7 Mark II. And I mean, one of the reasons is, as I mentioned before, I wanted to explain why I want to do more action sport photos and things in movement. This is a much faster camera. You get up to 14 frames per second FPS. So it's a really fast camera and that will improve my photography in particularly car photography, downhill, action, sports and all those things I want to try out. But today I'll do some more landscape photography, but I will hike that way and see if I find some nice composition for landscape this time. I've actually been to this cabin once before. Of course I have, because I've told you I've been at this place before. 
but I've actually been at this particular cabin once before. And I think this is, it's a beautiful hike here. We don't got many places like this in Sweden with hills that goes along the coast like this. It almost feels like France, Normandy or something. Of course, I think that's much bigger and magnificent, but this is very beautiful for being Sweden. Kåseberg, it's called. I think this is the coast near Simrishamn. I will try to link this place below. But the next reason I bought this one is performing very well in low light. And that is tremendous help when I'm doing wedding photography because the, the light vary up and down the whole, whole day. So it's perfect for that. And also when I will try some more astrophotography maybe in the future. But this is much better camera for weddings than the Z7 Mark II. Or if I compare those two. Of course, I would like to have the Z9 because that would be even better, but I don't have that budget yet. Or the Z8. It performs very well in low light. And when I talk about wedding, that brings me to one more point, and that is it's 24 megapixel, not 45. So the uh, file size is not that big either, and it won't clog up my hard drive with all those wedding photos or lifestyle photos and the client will not e either get those big files. It's easier to use when I'm working with wedding. For now, 24 megapixels is more than enough. Let me explain. But first, I have to head back really fast because I don't have much time before the sun is setting and I want to photograph those stones and do some landscape shots. So let's go. back <laughs> it was f further than I thought so <laughs> I actually ran so don't miss this sunset I think I have found a composition I like I will show you in the viewfinder I have uh, a leaning line with this one and I try to center the Sun so I get the feeling of the stones just going to go in into the distance and just vanish <laughs> I think this is the best I got so far. I'm running around like crazy because I haven't looked around this place thoroughly, but I will walk around and see if I can find a better composition. But the sun is setting, so I have to rush. And then I will explain why I don't need more than 24 megapixel. <laughs> Sun is setting. Oof. But let me explain why I don't need more than 24 megapixel right now. And that is mainly because I don't work with big clients like Coca-Cola and Land Rover that are going to make big billboards that need big prints. And I also have no clients that are buying my photos yet. And that is not because my photos are particularly bad or something, but people enjoy putting up their own work on the walls. So I don't think I will be selling much prints yet, but maybe in the future. So I don't need a 24, more than 24 megapixel right now. But when I do need more, then I hope I have, can afford a Z8 and up level. But for now, I just love my Nikon Z6 Mark II. It's perfect for me anyway. One more thing is that as I'm trying to become better at videograph videography, I don't find it necessary to change from Nikon to Sony or Canon or any other brand that are very good for videography because Nikon is catching up. 
The autofocus is really good uh, when you're filming, you have end log, so I can really improve in color correction in Adobe Premiere Pro when I'm doing videos like this. The main part is that you get good autofocus so you can do YouTube videos and also do other videos. I have a Ronin S at home and I'm connecting this one to that also and it's perfect. I'll do a video about that soon. So if you are interested and you like this video for example, please give this a thumb up. That will help me with the algorithm and consider subscribing because more content like this is coming. But for now I just am so pleased with my Nikon Z6 and I am Pretty pleased with this day at all SDNR. You see all those good looking stones. I can't understand how they got the, those stones there. It's from the 1400. Anyway, this is it from this video. I am heading back to the car and I have two hours and 15 minutes drive home. So I will be pretty tired when I get home. I will show some photos from this shoe, but for now, take care and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.